guys, hope you're all doing well. So welcome to another episode of Candace Gets Increasingly Drunk While She Shows Her Makeup. I don't know what I'm going to call this. <clears throat> so this um, installment of the of these <laughs> videos is going to be kind of everything that's not palettes and not lips. Because I have so much of those, I wanted to do separate videos. This stuff, Ulta, local beauty supply. Um, I got a couple things from the Dollar Tree. We kind of, TJ, we kind of all over the place. So let's just talk about them. Um, the first, let's just go to a couple things I got from the Dollar Tree. So you be in there, sometimes you find some gems. The first thing is I picked up these Rimmel. Uh, hold on, I got a sip. I'm still on rum. After this glass, I'm out of rum. I'm going to go hit to my margarita. I got some peach margarita, 1800. Please don't fight, y'all. Okay. These are the Rimmel. London Instant Conceal and Contour. I remember I had these this palette a while back. I while, years and years ago when I decluttered it. I don't know if I decluttered it because I didn't like it or it was just old. It's been that long that I forgot, so I picked it up for a dollar. I got the light one. Um, this is the light. Sorry, y'all, I can't see. Yeah, the light version. Um, a dollar, and I got the um dark version. I think there's one in the middle, but they didn't have it. So, I don't know what I'm going to use these for on the face, spot treatment, maybe brows. I don't know, but for a dollar, we love a, we love a bargain, right? And also in there, they had the Milani Conceal and Perfect Foundation Stick. I know I never tried this before, for sure. Um, and so, I've watched them, but I haven't used them yet. This is the Conceal and Perfect Foundation Stick. I do like the liquid. I know I like the liquid foundation. Anyway, they had a few different shades, but, and, like, I couldn't open them or anything, so I just guessed. This is 275 Amber and 280 Nutmeg. These are the two I picked up, and I did swatch them on my face, and so I think either one will work, but maybe, like, the lighter one in the middle. Um, but because these things are in the Dollar Tree, they're more than, they're discontinued, like, in regular whatever. So, not in a rush to play with them. It's actually one of those things, like, when I find things like that and those discounted things... They want to be my favorite, some of my favorite things, and then I get mad, so. And then the final thing from the Dollar Tree is the Milani Conceal and Perfect All-in-One Concealer Kit. Now, I think I had this one before, too, and I think I liked it, but again, memories can be fuzzy. So this is a four-pan uh, concealer kit. It comes in, like, I think it comes in, like, light, medium. This is shade four, dark to deep, and I picked up two of these because it was one of those things where it's like, I I don't know, for some reason, I think I liked it. And so I picked up two because I have a backup. And a dollar. Come on. Um, and so you have a peachy shade here, um, two concealer, and two skin tone shades. I mean, this is skin tone as well, but um, for me, it'd be a little bit deeper. But yeah, conceal and perfect. So for a dollar. Don't we love a find? We love a find. Don't remember where I got this powder from, but I picked up the L'Oreal Infallible Loose Setting Powder. This is the shade... Um, is it not on here? This is the deeper shade. It says translucent medium deep on the front. I'm sorry. Um, I think I got this from the dollar store as well. I haven't used it yet, but if you can see, it's the deeper shade. And maybe, maybe, I don't remember where I got this, but I know it's in my new bin. I haven't reached for it yet, but I wanted to share and hang out when I'm hanging out. I'm a little, I'm a little, um, I'm having a great time right now. All right, my, where are we going? Where are we going? Let's go here because these are some random items. This came from Amazon. Um, why, I don't know. Late night Amazon. It was like $2. Um, so this is the CoverGirl Clean Matte BB Cream for oily skin. We love trying a new BB Cream. Matte. Okay, for oily skin. And this shade was, is, why they put them so small? 560 deep. Hopefully it'll work. But this was like prime and it was only like $2. And I was like, all right, we'll give it a go. Just scrolling through. Um, but a matte BB cream, maybe it's as good as the Neutrogena one. The Neutrogena one is pretty bomb, just so y'all know. Pretty good, pretty good. Okay, I'm getting there. Okay, all right, I think I got, I think I got the situation. I think I got it down pat now. I think I got it. <laughs> I think I got it. Trying to organize, keep it in order. I went to CVS, minding my business, get my prescription. And this is the L'Oreal Age Perfect 4-in-1 Tinted Balm. I don't know. I like things in jars and I'm attracted to things in jars. I've already swatched this so it's going to work. This is the shade. They only had like five shades. This is the shade 10 Deep. There's one deeper than this. 
here's the thing with this. I'm going to tell you all right now. I did swatch it on my skin. It's a little orange. But more importantly than that, this thing is $16. L'Oreal. I did the drugstore makeup tag and it was like uh, overpriced makeup. L'Oreal. I get it. It's classic. Their target demographic is not me. Um, But it... <sighs> Come on. That's ridiculous. And you get... 18 grams in here. You get 0.67 ounce. A standard foundation or even a BB cream, you're getting one fluid ounce. Okay? You're not even getting an ounce. This thing is upwards of 20 bucks. Come on, L'Oreal. Come on, son. Come on, dog. Come on. Hope I don't like it. Um, <laughs> Alright. So, my... Oh, I went to TJ Maxx. Let's do this. I went to TJ Maxx. I did film. I, bought, I got a lot of palettes from there. That's a separate video, but... They had some BH Cosmetics brushes, really cheap. So I picked up two eye brushes. This is the Brush 5. Let's open it up. This is the Brush 5 Pointed Crease Breast. Breast. Brush. Let me just take it out of the packaging. Easier. Pointed Crease. We love to see it. Soft. $1.99. $1.99 for this brush. I would have picked up all the options they had, but it seemed to be they just had a few. Um, they didn't have like a whole like kit worth of brushes um which is some random ones and this is that's the pointed crease this is the classic blending dollar 99 let's open this huh that one's interesting classic blending it's fluffy but it tends to be a little bit wider than what i would use to blend but you know we do what we want so and then i have two what appears to be face brushes. This one's interesting. This is called Dense Primer. Now, granted, we know we don't use brushes for what they intended for, but this is called Dense Primer. I'm sorry. And the Dense Primer brush was $1.99 as well. That's a cute fat brush. It's giving me concealer. Or it's giving me uh, eye primer. It's giving me concealer on the eye. Um, But cute, dense primer brush. $1.99. And then we have Rounded Cheek. And this one was $2.99. Because it is a little bit bigger. Just a smidge. This, I'll tell you right now what I would use this for. There's only two things I'd use this brush for. And that is setting the under eye or highlighter. That's just how I roll. I guess you could contour with it as well. But You got some cute little brushes. Okay. Alright. Alright. And then it... A few weeks ago, a couple weeks ago, I went to my local beauty supply, just hanging out in the beauty supply site, <laughs> looking for gold hoops, because I love gold hoops, but I tend to lose my hoops, and I don't know what that's, I don't know, I don't know what that is, but, um, I saw, um, so, behind the scenes, I've been enjoying the e.l.f. brow, the ABH brow freeze dupe, this stuff, let me see, what's it called, brow lift, this clear stuff. Um, I've been using it various ways, kind of liking it. Um, anyway, and Nika K is um, a brand that is in my local beauty supply store. And she has this super brow fixer. And it says Mega Extreme Hold. And it's just a clear brow. You know when a brand comes out with something, the dupes will follow very quickly. So it's another clear brow hold gel situation. I haven't used it yet. And this one, this one was $3. The e.l.f. one... Is six dollars the ABH one is twenty three dollars. We're getting even cheaper. Um, and this came with a brush. This is the Duo eyebrow brush. It didn't come with a brush, but I bought it separately. But it was like next to it in the same display. Um, an angled brush. Hopefully it's good because this one was only like four dollars, and it can replace my twelve dollar ABH brush. Which I'd buy that brush again. That's not too bad. But all right. Then we have same thing from the beauty store. Two new foundations. Um, this is the Ruby Kisses. Ruby Kisses Drop Foundation. Love trying things. Um, this was like six bucks. So this is the Ruby Kisses Drop Foundation. They leaned, they had testers. They leaned warm. So um, I had to go down like a shade or two from what I thought I was. And this one is the shade Coconut. It's a really thin consistency really thin but we've known um in our history of trying drop foundations that thin consistency does not mean light coverage these days so that's really exciting haven't tried it yet 
and also we have from absolute new york absolute new york is almost like the drugstore version of nyx even though nyx is drugstore like it seems like everything that nyx has absolute will come out with i don't know what the nyx equivalent is to this but i'm just saying overall as a brand that's how it seems to me um this is their full cover liquid matte foundation it says full coverage high pigment it was seven dollars had to jump on it and i got the shade maple they were testers in my beauty supply store so excited to play with this and try it out let's play with it put it on try it out really exciting I gotta finish my rum. <laughs> oh, that's good. I can't wait for margaritas. I say it like somebody else got bringing to me. <laughs> okay. All right, what we got in here? The next products, all face products. Let's go with. All right, I got this from Walmart. This is, like I said, it's a random haul of everything. Hard Candy Instant Summer um, Powder Bronzer. Uh, it says mango and cocoa butter infused. They had like three shades. This is the deepest shade. Um, this leans a little more neutral than cool, um, cool or warm. But this is the bronzer. To me, this is, I'm also a little inebriated. This is the... <laughs> <laughs> it's matte. Um, I definitely would probably use this as contour. And it was like seven bucks. I was like, I'm gonna give it a try. Give it a try. Um, so I wanted to pick that up. Packaging is really pretty. Let's do that. Let's do that. Um, okay. All right. Let's go through powders and then we'll go through concealers last so wet and wild has a new bare focus clarifying finishing powder i don't know why i bought this the deepest shade is medium tan look at this powder giving under eye maybe it was like three dollars i got it in my ultra order i'm gonna be honest i don't i don't know i don't know what it's giving i, I don't know under eye it's giving under eye not sh no shade to wet and wild, but that shade, I don't know why I bought it. I don't, I'm going to be honest. Okay. Okay. I went to Ulta and picked up the Pretty Fresh Pressed Face Powder. My Ulta had, they redid their ColourPop display, made it like twice as big. And these were in there. The Pretty Fresh Pressed Face Powder. I was going to order this online, but sometimes with face products, I'd rather see them in person. I got the shade Dark 20. The thing is with this cat, yo, she can go around the tripod, but she chooses to go through it. It's all right. So yo, she's like in the tripod. I just know that if I scare her, she's going to there it is. There, there it is. There, there it is. There we go. There it is. Why? 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 Okay. So the pretty fresh um, pressed powder. I didn't peel anything off yet or anything, but um, this is what it looks like. I got the shade Dark 20. Really excited to play with that pressed powder. Really excited for that. And the last powder I picked up, so I got two shades of this because there were no testers for this. I got one from Ulta and then one when I went to Walmart, they had more options, so I bought another shade. So this is the e.l.f. Camo Powder Foundation. So the shade I got from Ulta is medium 375. I did have the girl open it for me at the register. I was like, can you open this? And I was like, that'll work for me. This is medium 375 neutral. And I was like, that's definitely going to work. I was like, okay. Now, in the e.l.f. CC cream, the, the, is that the CC cream? Um, the camo CC, yes. I'm like, what's my shade? Deep 540N. So, when I was in Walmart, they had a huge display of e.l.f. as well. And I was like, okay. Um, I grabbed deep 540 in i did because i was like just in case i did we can have multiple shades this is leaning too dark but i think 
dusting it. I swatched it. This one seems to be a more, like if I'm putting it on concentrated, a better shade. Um, but again, I can't wait to play with this. Um, and this one seems to be, see, it's deeper. It, it, it will work. Okay. I'm glad I have both. I'm glad I have both to play with. Okay, so on to some concealers. This one is from Makeup Revolution. I ordered this online. This They have a new, like, magic line. And this is their Eye Bright Corrector. And it's in the shade medium to deep. I'm a sucker for things in jars. I didn't even open this one yet. But this is a peachy corrector, which I do love peachy correctors. Um, and I'll keep you updated on that one. Next time I do my makeup, I'm probably going to use this one underneath of things. So... I got the shade medium to deep. I think there were four shades online. But this is like the tone. I like my peachy, peachy correctors. So let's do that. Okay. Last two items. I picked up the... <laughs> Again, this is the, 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 the woes of a makeup reviewer. Oh, poor me. Um, Morphe has a new concealer. It's called the Filter Effect Soft Radiance Concealer. It claims to be like medium coverage. Um, I'm gonna tell you something. Every Morphe face product has disappointed me. I really like Morphe eyeshadow palettes. Um, I do, but their face products, they've all disappointed, except that face palette with the blush and contour. But like their foundation, both foundations, that new skin tint, wasn't all that. The other concealer was a mess. So I, I don't have high hopes. Not gonna lie, I don't have high hopes. These are twelve dollars. Still bought it because I want to try. Um, this is the I got two shades. When I buy concealer, when I try concealer, I always get one that's close to my skin tone, and then I'll or maybe like a shade lighter, but close to my skin tone, and then I'll get one that is lighter to highlight. And so the skin tone one, they're very warm. So just like with the powder, um, I'm sorry, just like with this drop foundation, I went further down the line. Um, to find a neutral one ish and this is called rich 30 and it's a neutral um, that's the shade I picked up for my um, as like my skin tone and then the lighter one that one is warm this is tan 22 so I went quite a bit lighter let's hope fingers crossed and then the final thing I picked up really excited about this because it wasn't even in display yet they were just sitting on the table at Ulta this is the KVD um, vegan beauty good apple lightweight full coverage concealer um I don't have the full cup the good apple foundation that good at the compact because it just it screamed like cream foundations and compacts are really not good for my oily skin and it just it didn't seem like something I needed to try but I love a good concealer and KVD full coverage if she says full coverage it's full coverage um I need to buy another locket tattoo foundation because I love that if it if yeah and when I say she she's not owner of the company anymore we know this but you know of course I have it so I picked up two shades in this. I picked up... So, this is a fake dropper bottle. It's not a dropper. This is completely hard plastic. And it is... Um, kind of a weird looking applicator. But, yeah, I picked up... God, I can't see. Tan 173 for, like, my skin tone shade. And for the lighter shade, I picked up... Tan 161. Really? I am so excited for all of these things. So yeah, that's kind of that part of that, that installment of that. Um, yeah. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. Next video, I'm definitely going to have a margarita. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, comments, concerns about any of the products mentioned in this video, feel free to leave it down below. I love you all. Talk to you guys in the next one.